Scientists using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope have spotted a water vapor plume shooting out from Saturn's moon, Enceladus. This plume stretches more than 6,000 miles, that's about the same distance as from Los Angeles to Buenos Aires. This is the first time we've seen water spewing out over such a vast distance. The telescope is also giving us a new perspective on how this water is applied to Saturn and its rings. Enceladus is a tiny moon, just 4% the size of Earth, but in spite of its size, it is a significant spot for researchers looking for signs of life beyond Earth. Hidden beneath its icy crust and rocky core, Enceladus houses a larger reservoir of salty water. From cracks in its surface, known as tiger stripes, geyser-like volcanoes launch jets of ice, water vapor, and organic chemicals. And this is the reason these geyser plumes are of great interest to scientists, as they can provide valuable information about the interior of these celestial bodies, including whether they might have the necessary conditions to support life. Until now, scientists had seen jets shooting hundreds of miles from Enceladus' surface, but the James Webb Telescope's incredible sensitivity tells a new tale. Jerónimo Villanueva, the lead author of this study, was actually pretty shocked to find a water plume over 20 times the size of the moon. Now, this plume's size means that water vapor is gushing out at a rate of about 300 liters per second, or 79 gallons. That is fast enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool in just a few hours. The Cassini orbiter, which spent over a decade exploring Saturn's and its moons, has provided us with valuable information, inclu including the first imaging of Enceladus plumes. However, the James Webb telescope, located a million miles from Earth, offers an entirely new viewpoint. In the coming years, what will be our primary tool for observing Enceladus? And any new discoveries derived from these observations will help us inform future solar system satellite missions that will look to explore how deep the moon's oceans are, how thick the ice crust is, and more. As Enceladus orbits Saturn, it's continuously spraying out water, creating a donut-shaped halo or torus. This torus overlaps with Saturn's outermost and widest ring, the E-ring, which is a tenuous ring of micrometer-sized particles of water ice condensed from vapor ejected by the geysers. Now, Enceladus does have an extremely thin atmosphere known as an exosphere, which is mostly composed of water vapor, some molecular hydrogen, and a few other components. However, this atmosphere is not like what we have here on Earth. It's very sparse and does not provide the same kind of protection and interaction with the sunlight. So, when the water vapor from Enceladus geysers reaches the vacuum of space, it doesn't behave the way water does on Earth. The extremely low pressure and cold temperatures cause the uh, vaporized water to rapidly freeze, forming tiny ice particles. And these particles contribute to creating Saturn's earring. You know, this reminds me of the fact that uh, whenever astronauts urinate in space, back during the Apollo missions, when astronauts were required to urinate in a so-called relief tube, in which the contents were dumped into space, and then release the contents into the vacuum, the urine rapidly boils into vapor, which immediately crystallizes from the gas to a solid state, thus forming tiny urine crystals. Anyway, uh, not all the water, vapor, and ice particles stay in the vicinity of Enceladus and Saturn's earring. Some of the material escapes and uh, gets distributed throughout the Saturnian system. Now, data from the Webb telescope reveals that about 30% of the water stays within these torus, while the rest supplies water to the uh, Saturnian system. So, these observations of Enceladus were part of a program designed to showcase Webb's capabilities and set the stage for future studies. The initial results have excited the scientific community and me as well, you know, showing promise for future web observations. So there you go, uh, sorry for the short length of the video, but I was really excited to tell you about this new uh, web discovery. Regardless, I hope you could uh, take some new nerdy space facts with you so you can share them with your friends, peers, partners and children. Uh, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>